What's up friends? Welcome back to our YouTube tube, tube channel. I'm so happy you're here. Like we're drinking a cup of coffee. I am in here by myself. It's, you know, this is a ladies chat for the girls, but you know, we want our fellas to, to stick around because I think there's something you could, you could uh, glean from, but this is specifically for the moms out there, the girls being a girl champion out there running the world, doing your thing this year. I want to talk about 10 or so ways to truly love yourself this year. I feel like in the last year, I have been doing a lot of soul tending, a lot of groundwork. We talk a lot about on this channel, the unsexy. We're not afraid to talk about the things usually that are happening behind the scenes. And you know, in our social media day and age, we see a lot of highlights and we also see a curated version of even people's low moments. We don't, you know, who's going to pick up the camera and just be like in their corner so <laughs> Oh, gotta put this on the ground. It's not gonna happen. So we all are doing work. We are all every day, hopefully, wanting to be the best versions of ourselves to be 100% authentically us. But in that, there usually is healing and heart work and all the things. <laughs> way to love yourself better is just normalize that self-care needs to be in your life. <laughs> Having still a routine for ourselves that makes us feel good. And there's nothing selfish about that. But for me, just making sure I take pockets of my time to actually slow down, get ready. My big thing this year, I told Frederick, I am getting ready. I am getting dressed. I am I, for me, putting on makeup, putting on an outfit makes me feel like I'm gonna conquer the day. If I'm sitting around my pajamas or sweats, no. Another thing, I got a haircut, y'all. Look at this, look at this. Remember when I talked about getting my hair chopped off? Well, it is happening. She is a way too long and being a mom, I just, I can't do it. Like I love long hair and doing it all and curling it, but not in this time. I don't even know where I'm looking right now. In this time, in this day and age, with this hair, I can't do it. So I'm gonna get chopped off at a place that I love so much and been going to for years. Um, it is Rebel Workshop in uh -oh, uh, Dallas. Gosh, oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm really excited. It's cold and rainy day. What perfect day to come to the salon. We have lunch and then we have free skin. Okay. She chopped it off. It was literally down to here. And I was wearing it in a high bun. No low bun. It wasn't high. It was low. A low bun every day. Like, you know when you get to the low bun and you're just like, this is it. This is my hairstyle. Like, everyone knows me for the low bun. But it's this year is gonna be different. I'm like, no. So when I went in there and got my hair chopped off, y'all, she looked at me like, did I put it in a frying pan? Possibly. It's just make room, make time. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. The nails, the hair, the two. This year, think about what you're thinking about and think about how you think about yourself and how you talk to yourself. There is no greater friend to yourself than you. Every day, I don't even know how many thoughts we have in our mind, but it's a lot. A lot of times we run through life with just crazy going in our head and we don't stop and, and be intentional with our thoughts. The Lord says that we are to cast down our thoughts, cast down imaginations that do not line up with who he says you are. Take an account of your thoughts this year. I promise you that can be a whole year worth of work to stop and go, time out, how do I talk to me? I'm with me all day long. 
Am I encouraging? Am I supportive? Do I believe in me? I mean, y'all, that is a godly perspective. Let's stop downplaying ourselves. Let's stop thinking less of ourselves to feel more meek or humble or whatever you think that is. Or maybe you just have had somebody in your life who have, have put you down. And so now that is a normal thought pattern for you. But you today can take the root of that and release it because today you're gonna to be your best friend. Three, get a therapist, okay? Get a therapist, go to therapy, go to counseling, y'all. Um, last year I started at the end uh, and I'm not new to counseling or therapy, <laughs> Lord knows what. <laughs> and I used to work in ministry and was around it and was blessed with such high capacity leaders that would speak to my life through the crazy times. If you've watched any of our videos about our love story and the opposition that came from that, if I wasn't in therapy sessions, if I didn't have people to turn to, I don't know where I would be. God has given us that gift of wisdom through other people and sometimes you can't just call up a friend or maybe they're not gonna have, maybe you don't have like access to people right away. It's okay to pay to sit, to be with someone. This last year I was like, there are still, still some things that as always, like we're human. <laughs> like, and I wanted that to be something regularly that I did. So I gifted that to myself and sometimes even financially you could think, oh my gosh, that's so much money. But if you love yourself, you are worth that. The healing in your heart is worth it. Okay, number four. Um, Y'all, just buy yourself the gift. <laughs> like, take the trip, be intentional, go out in an outing, schedule it on your calendar. We have to create space in our busy, stressful lives for intentional fun. Especially if you if you have a family, if you're married, and if you're single, y'all, this is the time. Like, schedule it. Um, I think the biggest tragedy in people's lives are when they say over and over again, yeah, one day I'm gonna do that. Oh, one day I'm gonna go there. Oh, one day, and we can all have hopes and dreams. I have not been to Paris. Nobody has flown me to Paris. It's still a dream and a thought and maybe not, no, that, no, it could be reality this year. I'll put it on my vision board. Anyways, it, <laughs> it's okay to set aside time to just be, to enjoy life, to enjoy what God has given you. But sometimes it's not going to just happen like your trip's not just gonna happen it's gonna require work it might require you saving money it might require to you to cut back on some area where you can then invest in this everything i'm saying is something that i am following today it's if i um i especially like gifts i will tell myself a thousand times i don't need something like I am that person. I admire, especially the girls on, I learned so much from people on the internet, just the way they lavish themselves. And I just am like, you go. And so you go. Sometimes I just get wrapped up so much in my life or motherhood or how I can do this or how we're doing this. And sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta buy some. So that is my, um, really a God thing and it's crazy that God will be like yes you should because he loves us and wants us to enjoy number five this is your year to surround yourself with the right people okay we do not have time to waste our days being around toxic negative uncelebratory people anymore we just we don't there is no greater halt to 
you pursuing your purpose, your destiny, than being around people that are not for you. Ask God about it this year. I told a friend recently that I ask every year, Lord, who should be in my life? Who needs to be here? Who are people that are really for me? Who do you want me to go deeper with? Who do you want me maybe to reach out to that's new? Um, God cares about your relationships. He has ordained your relationships. And some relationships, we had nothing to do with. <laughs> that was maybe just all on you. That could be a friendship. That could be a boyfriend or a girlfriend. How you feel when you are around this person. Your spirit is probably speaking to you more than you even think. You gotta move forward and it's so hard when we love friendships and we love people, but if you want to go forward with God, sometimes we have to make the hard decision and sometimes it just naturally happens. As you draw nearer to God, sometimes people just fade away and you can enjoy it for what it was in the season. So not all friendships have to be just awful and bad. Um, some just fly away, fly away and think you're an eagle. You gotta fly with the eagles, okay? If you wanna stay down with the chickens, then, you know, 2022, you do you. Anyways, there is nothing better than life giving friendships. Pouring into each other, iron sharpening iron, that is it. For all my single girls, remember that even with the man you are with. He should build you up and make you greater and lead you towards God in 2022. All right. <laughs> Number six, be kind to your body, your image. That's back to like how you talk to yourself, how you view yourself. If you just had a baby, calm down moms, like calm down. If your snap back ain't back by dump, first of March, then okay. Well, okay. <laughs> Take your time. It's a journey. I have started to work out um, more consistently and every time, every month I get better and I'm done with the days of beating myself up. It's a new way of doing things. Looking at yourself in the mirror, stop beating yourself up. You are beautiful. You created life. Uh, this is just for all the ladies. Let's stop comparing ourselves. Um, feeling your body is that, but also like feeling your body is exercise. Like I want to be healthy. I think physical activity is everything. And I think if we're living and breathing, we should be doing it but let it be the journey and let God lead you on that. I think the grace, this should have been number one, but it's at number seven, you know, to just ease on in there. The greatest gift you can give yourself this year is a relationship with Jesus. Jesus changed my life 100%. And I'm not talking going to church. I am talking about asking him into your life. Jesus, come into my life, be my Lord and Savior, and then surrendering your life to him. For me, I was hit rock bottom. So it was like, you real though, you real? So I just, my life, I look back, I, I will do a video soon of where I was, what I was running to, who I was around, what my life looked like when I wasn't walking with God. And everything good in my life is because of my relationship with Jesus, everything. And before you go out in this lap, this um, this year, running, doing your thing, got your plans, making your money, doing your stuff, I'm telling you, there's no greater captain in your life than God. He releases favor. He shows us the way. He provides for us. He covers us. He surrounds us. Like there's no greater father and there's no one I'd rather be walking with than him. So try Jesus this year. Love yourself. Know who you are. He is a perfect one to tell you who you truly are, which the world tried to tell you all kinds of things. And number eight, one of the things was for me this year is to create space, to create boundaries, to schedule things. 
um, to create space to create, to think I'm that kind of person, like I need time to imagine and to dream. That is a way that I feel filled up going to a coffee shop and having time to just think and sort through things is is loving myself. Another thing is acknowledging when you need help. If you're a mom, that has been the biggest thing for me at the end of the year is we took Zane out of school and I thought, I'm gonna be superhero. <laughs> we're gonna homeschool. We're gonna do all the things. It's gonna be so glorious. And I, sh I quickly found out that is not what God was saying for me. Um, and props to you if you do it. I am really inspired by you, honestly. <laughs> I have learned that having him just a few days in school helps me to do the things that I feel like God is asking me to do in this season and that it's okay. And actually my son loves it so much and he's been asking ever since I, I took him out for those two months, like, uh, can I get back to school? Can I meet my friends? Can we, uh, so he is a social butterfly, but I've learned that that structure having Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where we can do things here that we're wanting to do. And then Tuesday, Thursday, just be mom, hands-on, stuff the house, like helps me section and create um, a beautiful structure for our week. <laughs> and I need that. If I don't have structure, if I don't have block scheduling, if I don't have intention for the week, um, and I'm all for just taking time off and vacation and no, none of that. I can do that really well too. But when it's time to get to work, that is what's helpful. Um, another thing is babysitters, like actually getting a babysitter, which we have on Friday night is um, everything. So you don't have to be a superhero. You can ask for help this year and ask God how. Maybe you're like us, we don't have any family that can help out. Um, with things so we had to use an app and it's actually awesome i'll link it below um that found babysitters in the area and we've used it it's been amazing and the girls are amazing and i just yeah so that's that's a whole nother video on that later it's you don't have to feel guilty because you think you have to do it all I can do a whole video, y'all. If I see one more post out there, like talking about moms don't need a break and you don't need this and you don't need that, I'm going to, I'm going to go find them and they're not, I wish we don't get them. Number nine, this year loving yourself might mean finding hobbies. <laughs> What are you talking about, Jacqueline? Finding hobbies. How much do you do for yourself is for just yourself? It doesn't involve your job. It's not trying to meet a goal. It's not trying to monetize. It's just a hobby. Like you just like to do it and you set aside time to do it. Do you know that is a beautiful thing and we need more of that? I am a three on the Enneagram. I don't really follow that. Okay, why do I mention on every video? I'm not really that obsessed. But it has helped me just think like, like you can just do things without trying to make it a business. <laughs> what? So anyways, that would probably be me dancing on TikTok, which I don't, I'm not gonna be, I, I'm not gonna be a back, backup dancer. Um, but I have a lot of fun doing Just get outside, take a walk, just a simple thing. Slow down this year. Let, don't jam pack every moment because the odds of you actually being excellent at those things are probably slim instead of doing a few things and taking your time. Okay, number 10, make time for others. Be generous with your own life. Way to love yourself. It seems like, well, how is that loving myself? Um, being generous with what God has already given you and pouring out into others is, no, is the best way to have a boomerang effect of the blessings in your life. 
when we are in a place or space in our life and maybe it's a hard season for you, we can be so fixated on, well, I don't got this, why don't I have this, what's happening here? Oh my gosh, when I have this, and your mind just is rotating you. Instead of going, waking up, so at, my, at every job I've ever had in my life, and maybe this is for someone who is not happy at their job this year, I started my day, okay God, you know this job is super annoying. <laughs> but these people are yours. These people matter. And so I would start every day, God give me three to five people I can encourage today. Now that is my gift. That is what I love to do is encourage. So with little notes, maybe a little side chat, maybe a little word in the bathroom stopping you, I don't know. But it made my day impactful even at jobs that I was like, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So use your gift to, and the last, and kind of goes on with it, is love yourself by actually taking action on the things in your heart. If you have a dream this year, if you have something that you know is the thing. Step out and find out. You owe it to yourself to try. Don't live this life with regrets. As I get older, I'm like, you. if you've watched our last video, one of my words is bolder. I want to take risk. I don't want to be so calculated. I don't want to overthink things. I want to go boldly where God is calling me. This is your year to, to just do it, to just start small. Like I didn't even think about this YouTube channel when it was just a thought. And now I just look at the years we've had doing this and the blessing that has come into our lives by sharing our stories, sharing the weird moment, sharing our family with you guys is one of like, I can forever check this off and be like, wow, we did this. And if that's you today, if, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, just, just do it. Just share what you love. If you want to be on the internet, the wild, wild internet, just be on it. Like stop thinking about what people think. It, I am we over that this year. So anyways, guys, love y'all. Glad you could if you made it to the end, hey, hey, this this is gonna be this is gonna be your year. But I was just truly praying and thinking about what I could share with y'all and ways that you can love yourself. And these are ways that I am being more intentional in my life of loving myself so that I can have a greater impact in my family's lives, in my kids' lives, in my friends' life, because if you're a hot mess, then you pray a hot mess to everybody you express yourself to. What? I don't know. But the point is you are worthy of loving yourself, heart and soul. It is no better way, it is no better way to love others than to love yourself first. But love y'all and we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.